Hi, welcome back to my channel, Display of Color. I'm Scarlett, and we're going to work on a smack of jellyfish. So I'm going to be using Solar Color Dust Liquid Crystals. Um, I will also have a link in my description box below, um, the one I did with this with the butterfly. And um, that way you can, you can watch that as well. Um, but it is a liquid, like thermal crystal spray. It's like kind of like a mood ring base. Um, right now I'm going to be uh, spray painting with um, this airbrush paint. It's technically a brand I think made for cars, Create X. My um, wife has had this like forever and a day. So um, this process of what I'm about to do, I literally started it at um, 10.30 at night and I didn't finish it till almost 9 in the morning. I literally did the entire panel and you'll see at some spots like I have it fast forwarded of course because like I said this was a very layered project and um, it was super uh, labor of love and insanely um, time consuming and this paint like I said is really really old and so <laughs> Um, it was fine, like shaking it up. It was fine. The very top, you know, and then it wasn't, it was really thick. So I had to keep trying to thin it because it was so much older, you know, that it was just, it just got thicker and thicker as I went through it. And there's a solar color dust, um, that you put inside the, you know, the airbrush It is low PSI. So it is, does not need to be thinned in any way. It, um, is actually, in my opinion, unfortunately, too thin like I wish it was thicker because again you have to do seven to ten layers and you have to dry in between every single layer and of that um and then like the obviously the more layers the stronger the reaction is going to be for that like mood coloring look um so it was again a process of labor of love <laughs> So right here, I am, I'm mixing between, um, two shades of blue and I'm using a Liquitex, uh, white because the white that I had was rock solid. So I ended up switching to a liquid like, like latex, excuse me, I'm like stammering, um, acrylic ink, uh, but the liquid latex brand and or I'm sorry, why am I keep saying that? Liquitex brand. <laughs> and um, to, because the two blues that I'm using, there it is right there, I'm showing it. Um, the two blues that I'm using are, and this is light fast by the way, and I show that too right there, I'm trying to show it, is um, just letting you know that it's light fast ink. So um, then they're uh, translucent based paints, airbrush paint. So um, it was like a phthalo blue and a, a turquoise um, blue. And then um, I would just drop in a, a little bit of, add a little bit of water, pre-mixed to the paint and then drop that in to my airbrush. And then I would do like a tiny drop of, of like a single drop or two of the the paint the acrylic paint and I also would um, thin it with a little bit of water um, and then brush it you know put it on so um, I you know had a toothpick right there a little bit ago and was mixing it <laughs> so every time I put it in I would have to like mix it and then I was like mixing it outside of a thing and ugh, it was just a pain in the butt <laughs> So I'm just showing close up of the stencil that I'm using. And this was a really fun, um, I love the stencil that I have, but I wanted it as like a background of the water. So I'm doing the two different tones of blue with the whites and I'm just ranging, I'm mixing the blue in different, um, white tone palettes. So that way I have the hue of the colors. And since I'm translucent, putting the white opaque in it allows you to be able to see the color against the black really well. And, um, I didn't want them to, them to be exactly perfect or match up either the, all the blue stencil. So as you see, you know, it was just all the different colors 
And this is, I have two small, large, as you can see of the, that I'm putting on is um, a heavy medium gel. And uh, for the jellyfish. And I'm using that and it, it goes on white, but it dries clear and it's my golden. And this I'm also having to do in layers and then let dry like 24 hours to 48. And then I come back and do more, add more jellyfish as well as like, um, I do both uh, for both stencils. I do both sides of the stencil so that way I can get different movement and make a smack of jellyfish. And that is the term for a bunch of jellyfish. So there's your little fun fact, <laughs> but, um, so as you see, it's clear and I wanted it raised and that's why I used the heavy medium gel before I sprayed the, um, the liquid solar dust on those. So I had to see, it gives it a little bit of a lift. Like if it was more, that would have been cooler, but I just wanted, I wanted it to kind of pop up from, you know, have to give it dimension and from the, the uh, abstract water background. Um, so there's me adding more of the jellyfish, um, to what was already there and I layered it on a couple of them as well so they were doubled and um, so yeah um, so as they're these dry then they'll dry clear as well and this was a few days process to do all this and then I have to airbrush once it's all dry and clear it's clear right so you want a black background underneath that solar uh, dust liquid crystals um, right here. Um, you have to have black underneath. So what I ended up having to do is once they're dry is repositioning the stencil over each one correctly flipped and everything and then spray painting it again with the same brand of those airbrush paints that I used for all the blues and everything, but with a black opaque spray paint, which went way faster because the black was totally like, I didn't have to do anything to it. It was just fine as is sh shook and put on. So, and it dried like super fast because it's a, like I said, I think it's a car spray paint um, for a car or whatever. So it dries like really nice and thick and like perfect. And I was like, man, this stuff's rad when it works like as is, you know? And so I had to re spray paint everything black and then I have to go in and layer. Um, once that's dry, then I layer on the liquid uh, crystal. And again, it's just by itself. You don't put anything, you cannot add anything to it. You just have to use it as is. You don't want to thin it with water and you definitely cannot mix any kind of paint or anything in it, um, because it will break it down. It won't work. So, um, you have to do seven to 10 layers minimum with the low PSI one that I have and, um, and dry in between. And because it's a plastic stencil, I cannot have my heating tool has a range of cold to extremely hot. So I have it on barely, barely, barely tempered because I didn't want the stencil to warp or melt as I was, you know, constantly having. So it again was a very laborious process of doing this and a lot of, um, shoulder and back and arm <laughs> agitation and pain throughout the weeks of me doing this. But I just kept, you know, knowing like it was going to be so worth it if I could just finish this. So for all those people who are like, oh, you have so much patience. I'm like, yeah, not really. This piece really, uh, I, like I just had to keep telling myself like my vision, it'll be, it'll be dope if I could just follow through with my vision. Because when you're laying upon layer, you're just like, I really don't want to put seven to 10 layers, but then in the, in the long run, you're, you're bummed because it's not so, um, dramatic or dynamic that it can be. So you definitely don't want to skimp out on doing the minimum of at least seven, um, layers, but quite frankly, more than 10 layers would be best with the stuff. The more you can layer, the better. So I know on their website, they have several, um, they have a few different kinds and, um, but I think this is the only one that is with the airbrush. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely need to reach out. Um, this is not a cheap product by any means. 
and it's the biggest I could I could find was a two ounce and um and again it takes it took this took a little over three ounces this entire to do this um one piece so um and there were some parts where I like didn't get to do like all complete layers or more than 10 or whatever um because I was I was running out so I was really nervous about getting you know all of it coated and um and you know like I said it's not it's not a cheap product by any means so I'm hoping that they have something where if I, I'm going to try to call and st have my wife call and uh see if there's a way to make it you know a bigger bat or get a bigger batch or something and maybe I don't know thicken it somehow because it's to me too way too runny and it was really hard especially with the gel uh the heavy medium gel it, you know it was like spraying onto plastic in a sense you know what I mean like it just it would puddle really easily so you really have to do thin light coats and multiple like it says so it's like ugh Isn't that amazing? And again, I have my it drying where it's barely tempered and it's like super cold and and where I art. So um so the colder it is, you know, it'll go to black. And um, but it has like, I don't know, 12 different color range. It's like crazy cool. Um but it's not the heating tool can't be that warm because as you see me putting my hand down you know that's not neat <laughs> like you can't just not play with this it's like so fun by touch or breath or just the room temperature itself affects it so because the room's cold it keeps turning to where it almost looks like it goes invisible up there in some spots and that's why it's just so cold and it, my hands aren't like super warm at all either but it's still warm enough to change <laughs> in some spots so um, this stuff is so fun. You do have to seal it with resin. They state resin or preferably or um, some kind of, I don't know, sealant spray of some sort. I don't know what kind of spray. I just do the resin. It's easiest and best and otherwise because it does turn to like a powder, right? So when it so it can easily rub or scratch off. Um, so you can't just leave as is. But I'm definitely going to try to reach out and see if they make it in a bigger volume or if there's a way to make it a little bit thicker and not mess up the stuff. Like, I don't know. Because they do have, like, where it's, like, a thicker one, but you have to, like, paint it on. You can't, like, put in an airbrush. So, um, I don't really want streaks, you know. I want the smoothness of the airbrush. So, I'm just doing my Stone Coat Art Coat resin. It's got great um, UV protection as well as um, highly uh, workable, durable product. Like I said, it was really, really cold. So it was really hard to move my resin. Like I've never, um, it is literally, it was, it was negative. I think it was like negative 11 is what it said. It felt like outside or whatever. It's snow, like it's snow here now. And um, I've just, it's never been this cold and it, it was, it was like, so it was like, I don't even know how cold and, and where I was arting and, um, it was really thick. It wasn't wanting to move, you know, it was like, so I was trying to, you know, keep it evenly warm without like, I didn't want again, the heat gun too warm too, again, to damage the liquid crystals dust, you know? Um, but isn't it beautiful? So it's not, it's, it's barely tempered. The heat gun's a little bit warm and just enough to pop the bubbles literally. And then the torch, of course, I don't know how hot that is, but, um, so it changes, you know, or whatever. Um, but the sun, even the temperature of your own room, as you see, like it changes, like, so you don't have to touch your piece. You could just leave it and watch it all day long, constantly shifting, which I do. It's just beautiful. And I like, depending on the temperature of some, how they end up blending in with the blue. This blue and all the teal, the range of the colors is so hard to show because it just blows out for some reason with the camera. And um, it's really hard to show how rad that background 
and how much depth and um, of the different tones of the shading that I did it on it. So um, it's really unfortunate. I could, no matter what I tried to record with my cell phone, like I am right here, as well as with my um, webcams, and I just could not get that blue to not um, blow out. It was, you know, the color, some of the colors, like those pinks and stuff, are just. Uh, you just cannot see how cool it is no matter how close I can like come on <laughs> so and sometimes a black doesn't look as black as it is like it looks like a little brownie toned on the camera it's weird I don't get it but um but it's still you know it's still dope so but in person of course with resin and with any art it's so much better in person but I'm just I'm like trying like crazy to like get all the angles the glare and as well as like to show and it's so hard I cannot show that blue background the way it really shows which is so unfortunate it's so you know even taking pictures I just couldn't video or pick so I hope you enjoyed please like a thumbs uh, you know get that thumbs up bell uh, hit the notification bell and select to allow all um, so you notify when I go live or do my videos Happy outing and God bless.